Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dream Island tour. Today we are touring Firefly. This island is a um, fairy core island so I expect tons of pinks and I already see the cherry blossom petals everywhere so it is springtime. As always I will put the dream address on the screen for y'all as well as the social media accounts. Um, for the creator. So let's go ahead and grab these goodies that we have over here and then we'll open up the map. Um, I found this island through the um, Animal Crossing New Horizons tour website and the website does say um, well, the profile for the island says that it is a little bit hard to navigate. So I have a map that I made for myself to follow along. Um, it has lines and it's kind of over the all over the place. Uh, but I will try my best to cover every single part of the island. Uh, so right now we're going to be opening the... Um, the presents that were left here for us and I see that we have a lot of pink and fairy stuff um, and I'm gonna keep my outfit uh, because I really like it and I think it's dreamy and so I don't know I really like my outfit but you guys are more than welcome to change outfits I think it would look really cute with the um, with the island so let's go ahead and go to the airport and already see some heart crystals on the floor as well as some piles of petals over there um, but so here we have the airport green airport as well as the flag the flag is showing two fairies holding hands and then in the background there is a moon but if we go over here to the entrance it is gorgeous we have that wedding arch over here and then this gorgeous uh pink path and it looks like it's just cherry blossom uh petals all over the place uh, very fitting for the pink uh fairy core themed um island so let's keep on going over here and oh i love that heart on the floor i like it a lot it's very pretty Let's see. Over here, it seems like we have a flower shop of some sort. It is very pretty. Uh, everything is very pink. And those crates with flowers right there um, are very cute. And then if we go over here, um, we have a seating area. It looks like a bakery. Very, very cute. And then if we keep on going over here... Um, more heart crystals on the floor. Oh, and a pearl back there. I can't really go back there, but we have this horse pulling a carriage. Um, I've actually never seen that before, so it is very creative, very cute. And then I'm going to go back from where I started because I don't want to get ahead of myself and show something that I don't want to show yet even though i have a feeling that i'm going to be going back and forth a lot just because of how my map is set up uh i didn't make it very legible <laughs> if i'm being honest um so over here we have the museum and it looks like it's still um under construction there's still more development to be done with the a museum because I do see the edges but then if we go over back here we go back to the resident services though I think there's something back there that I completely missed um, and it's just a seating area with um, the little library public library there for you to read some books <laughs> so let's keep on going and we're gonna go down here and we are we should see um, the Nook's Cranny up here and it is super cute with all the sparkles on the floor and I love those Nova lights up there on the columns. Very, very pretty. Um, then over here another seating area. 
looks more like a cafe sort of place. And then if we go down here, we are going to see the Abel's. But I believe that I have to show you guys the beach down here because um, I don't think I have another opportunity to do so. So here's the beach and oh, we have a little tiny rug right there. And then over here we have a picnic area. Very, very pretty this picnic area with all those pink trees in the back and also the cedar trees there. Um, then a huge teddy bear right here. Oh, and we have a heart pond back there. Very, very cute. Um, so let's go back to where I was by the Abel's. And then if I go up, we have a bridge. But I think I'm going to just hop over the path that we have over here. Um, and you guys will see it in a second. Um, I'm looking at my map. <laughs> so I'll hop over here and... Uh, and I'll keep showing this area. Because if we go over here, we're gonna see uh, a seating area with some elves, it seems like, back here. Um, and then, <laughs> and then a house back there. And I think eventually I'll go back there um, somehow, some way. I think at the end, I have a choice to go to the end. Um, then another seating area. It looks like we have a lot of seating areas, which I absolutely love because uh, you can't ever have too many seating areas, and I know that the villagers love to just sit around and hang out. Oh, I like this frog uh, right there. It's from the Sanrio items. And if we keep on going, it seems like we have another uh, plant shop over here, or maybe a greenhouse. Um, because of the uh, top, it looks like it's glass. Uh, and then we have a beach area here it doesn't seem very decorated over here but uh i believe they're still under construction if i can remember um what her account said and the um the pier <laughs> i forgot the name the pier it is fully decorated and i really like it i wish i had a um a bodysuit or a wetsuit so i could go see it from afar but i do not have one to see it um and then if I go over here, I go back to that seating area, more seating areas over here. Again, you can never have enough. And then we have some mushrooms from the Mario stuff, the lighthouse right here. I really like that on that small rock. I don't know if I have one like that, a small rock like that in my island. Um, and then here we have a bakery that actually reminds me a lot of the Grand Budapest Hotel for some reason. And I love that movie a lot, so I really like this area. I like that panel, or those panels back there a lot. Um, and then over here we have the campsite. Um, very self-explanatory, the campsite, isn't it? <laughs> but if you look at the floor, you see that path is no longer there, the pink one. Now we have some wooden uh, planks, but up here we do have the pink path. Um, then if we keep on going over here, we have more houses and then eventually we'll see the main house, I believe, soon. Oh, but we have Letty over here. You're amazing. Thank you so much. And I really love your outfit. Um, I absolutely love it. It has little wings. <laughs> and so let's uh, keep on going over here and... I'm sorry if I'm going super fast. There's just a lot to cover in this island. Um, more houses over here. And it seems like we have another seating area back there with a book um, looking over this ocean. And then, oh, I can't go over that. I thought it was a star fragment for some reason. It's one of the clocks, but turned around. Very smart to use for it. And then, looks like the path is taking us. Beware of fairies. <laughs> That's cute. That's actually really cute. Uh, but let's see, if we cross over here, oh, another decoy. Duck. Always love those. Um, but we have the house, and let's go ahead and check out the beach before we go to the house. It looks like we have a seating area, 
and a sculpture and uh, let's go ahead and go to the house. I believe there's a room or a couple of rooms under construction, but the rest should be fine to go in. Alright, so we have the main room and it has the cloud flooring and we have a stall back there with a TV. We have this mushroom table and it is very fairy core, very colorful as well as nature-y. Here we have the restroom and it is mainly mermaid themed as well as some wedding items. Very cute, very pink. And so let's go ahead and I cannot go through there and let's go around and go to this room up here. And there we have the kitchen, super, super pink. I really like um, the wallpaper as well as the flooring. It is the um, Sanrio items um, for the floor and the wall. So let's go to this room over here to the side. And it is empty with some DIYs. So let's go ahead and go to the downstairs room. Uh, never mind, upstairs. <laughs> and uh, up here we have the mermaid uh, wallpaper and I believe that's mermaid um, flooring as well, unless it is like a under the sea um, flooring. And I just realized that that dollhouse, the lights go on and off. I didn't know that you could do that. And I, I mean, I've even seen pictures of it, but I guess I didn't, it didn't click. <laughs> so let's go downstairs again and let's go ahead and go outside. And that was a very, very cute uh, house. Definitely a uh, fairy core. And I really like the outside too, that pink brick with the green door and the green um, roof. Those are complementary colors, technically, um, because pink is a tint of, um, or shade of red. So let's uh, keep on going. And right now I'm looking at the map, so I'm sorry if I'm moving really slowly. I just not sure where exactly how I'm gonna show everything. Um, let's see if I go down here. Okay, this is later on the staircase. So let's just go up here. Um, and here we have, again, another seating area, this time with a fishing rod. And then over here, the wedding arch. And we have one of those floating moons that I really love and I still don't have one. It's one of those items that I am eager to have. And then here, we have a gorgeous little section. Um, and then back here, it seems like <laughs> I can finally turn on and off the lights of the buildings. Uh, but it seems like we have a forest perspective sort of um, area right there with those doll houses. Um, so let's keep on going over on the path and we'll see that we have a house over here and I think this is one of the Sanrio houses, like one of the Sanrio villagers. And if we go up here, we'll have another house with a little picnic um, area. And if we continue, this is the same path that leads us to the house. So technically I just could have gone across this, but I wanted to show of the stuff that is in the first floor area. Um, then over here, uh, we're gonna see a log that we have to cross and we have the gorgeous forest back there with that cloud-like path. Um, and then we have a villager house and another seating area. Very pretty. And I believe that's it for up here. Oh no, uh, we have this moon right here. And if I hop over, oh, I don't have to hop over. I can just walk through it. Oh, I can't even sit. Never mind. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and go back where we came from and check out the stuff that's over on the uh, beach. Uh, but I first saw those houses, I thought there would be more, but there's not. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and go downstairs. And we have another heart crystal, and I really like that the heart crystals all over the floor and I think that was also a thing in another island um, that I did frosting or frost time and I'll link that um, up here up in the video here we seems like we have like a star fragment farm sort of area and that's very cute and creative I've actually never seen something like that before um, but I'm getting ahead of myself right here. I should go back through the path, how it's meant to be. And so over here we have a fountain and then it seems like we have a wedding area over in this area, which now it makes sense because down there we had a horse carriage. And so I believe it's supposed to be coming here all the way. Um, to the wedding <laughs> and I'm just throwing some petals seems like fun <laughs> actually don't have the basket with petals yet so I'm excited to get that item it's super cute and then back there we have the brand new items wedding items that you can just buy through Nukazon not Nukazon I'm sorry you could just get them through Nukazon but um you get them through your um what's that called the app um, you can get it just through the actual like ATM machine or the or the app with uh, the event items. I don't know why I can't remember what it's called. Oh my gosh. So if we go back over here, we're gonna have a picnic area and a lot of terraforming, which I haven't said this, but the terraforming this island is amazing. Um, everywhere that you see it's like a little secluded because of the terraforming and how everything is set up like right here uh, you're only seeing the um, moon and um, you really don't pay attention to the surrounding areas which is very important and then we go all over here we're gonna go back to the resident services and I believe I have a few more areas to show so uh, let's I need to look at my map and really figure out what I'm doing. Uh, I got over here. Okay, I see. I haven't shown this area. Uh, we have like a lavender sort of farm area. Very cute with more decoy ducks right there. Um, I'm really, really digging this area. And then if we go over here. Now let's go up here actually and show we have one of those teepees and then a piano area as well as a dining area which is super cute. I like the different rugs here um, bringing in some texture and if you can see from here back there you see the little oh my gosh the neighborhood but I'm trying to figure out how do I get all the way up to the area that I said that we could go later on that I saw the oh my gosh the gnomes or elves whatever you want to call them I think I'm just gonna go through here because I said yeah so I'll go through here. oh I could have just gone down from there okay never mind but here it is we have the stairs those are the gnomes that I was talking about and then we have a house seating area and then the library down there and then if we go up here we have a lookout area which is really pretty with all those cherry blossom leaves falling um, down and I believe that is it for this island let me see how I get back though because um, I seem like I'm struggling. Yeah, because if I keep going over here, I go to the campsite. Yeah, so I've gone too far. <laughs> Let's see, how do I get back? 
maybe I'll just go the same way I came because I am a little bit lost. Let's see. All right, I think I got it. All right, yep, because if I go here, we are back to the resident services. All righty, so if you guys are still here with me, thank you so, so much for watching. I make videos every single Monday and Friday. And if you haven't noticed, now I only make Animal Crossing content in this channel. If you're still looking for uh, the Sims content, you can check me out on Twitch. I will be streaming Sims as well as Animal Crossing uh, stuff every single weekday uh, during the summer. So um, go ahead and follow my Twitch so you don't miss a stream. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on a new video. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye!